all of this is about them refusing to go the way that we're making you go, right? We've, we've run a bunch of classes on it. Straight, you know, inverted armbar on that other side, Kimura trap, ultra Kimura, all based on them coming the way I'm telling them to go by that hand on his jaw, right? I'm turning him into me. I'm only giving him one way to go. So all of our first three attacks that we didn't do today are based off him going the way that I'm telling him to, by, by making him look that way. But some guys are going to say, ah, nobody gets to touch my face. And really, that's a great rule in jiu-jitsu. Nobody touches your head. Great rule in wrestling. Somebody's controlling your head. They're controlling your posture. They're wearing you out. You watch Gordon and Felipe. A huge part of the fight at the beginning was just, how much weight can I put on his head? Can I hang on him? Can I tire him out? Broke my neck my, uh, my freshman year in college. And uh, I learned real quick, nobody gets to touch your head after that. It changed my game tremendously. It was one of the best things that ever happened in my jiu-jitsu and in my wrestling. It's like, no, nobody touches your head. And it's like, well, you can't touch my head. You can't control me. So she's going to she's go, go to flat mode on me. She's here. I start. She's in flat mode. Her ear is over on my hip. I start to dig underneath. She goes to the drape, right? And she's turning me this way, telling me to come into her, making me uncomfortable, cranking my neck. I don't want to go that way. Maybe I got, you know, I realize I need to get on board with more track, all that stuff. So I'm knocking this hand off and trying to run. That's when she's going to slide that knee up underneath. Step over my head. Figure four. Okay, so all the, all the initial stuff, the whole point of that drake is that I'm turning your head, I'm lifting you up, I'm saying, come this way, come this way. And you're going to get some guys, usually after you sub them a couple times with straight arm locks and kimuras, like, fuck, I get caught every time I go that way. I'm going to knock this hand and run the other way. Beautiful. I would much rather have the Hennessy separated than a silly joint box. Finish this one, mount her skull up on your you know, the wall with the spine hanging out. Otherwise, it's just got like an arm. That's not a very cool trophy. Right? Does that make sense? Let's give it a shot. One, two.